Today we're going to make a variation on the famous Italian dessert tiramisu, only we call ours tiramisu because we're going to use our on-the-go metro which has a blend of black tea and also organic coffee beans in it. So traditional tiramisu uses espresso to dip the lady fingers, um, but we're going to use the on the go metro instead to give it that coffee flavor, but it's a lighter version. Sometimes if you've had tiramisu in a restaurant, sometimes it's really heavy with espresso. So we're going to make a little bit more of a toned down version today. We're also substituting the traditional tiramisu is made with mascarpone cheese and we're going to make it with a uh, substitute for that using some various ingredients. So let's get started. We're going to start with one 8 ounce package of cream cheese and you want to leave it set out a little bit so that it softens before you start because that way it'll mix a lot easier if it's softened. Okay. So we're going to take and add to our cream cheese, we're going to add a third of a cup of sour cream. Okay, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla. And this is our substitute for our cheese. Okay, then you want to mix this together in a mixing bowl until it's smooth and creamy. So again, that's why you want to make sure that your cream cheese has been softened because otherwise it will be really, really difficult to mix. So we're just going to kind of smash this up a little bit and then we're going to stir it together and get that all blended in. And you see it's still kind of lumpy and chunky and we're going to want to keep mixing on that a little bit till it smooths out. So again, you know, it depends on how soft your cream cheese is, but it shouldn't take too long to get that into a nice creamy mix. I'll kind of turn the bowl so you can see. And see now it's starting to be pretty creamy. Okay, that's a nice mix for our cream cheese mixture. Okay, so we're going to set that aside and the next step we're going to use whipping cream and make our own version of stiff whipping cream. And the key to the whipping cream is to have your bowl in the fridge for a few minutes before you start on this so that it pre-chills so that it keeps the whipping cream cold as you begin to beat it. So we've got a half a cup of heavy whipping cream poured in here. We're going to turn on our mixer. Okay, we're getting real close. Let's see this. Okay. See, and there we got some nice stiff peaks. So now what you want to do is gently fold the whipping cream into the cream cheese mixture. Okay, so we're going to combine it this way. Just put part of it in to start with. And by folding, you actually want to just kind of fold it back and forth. Don't actually beat it again. You want to just kind of blend the two together by gently crisscrossing and putting them into a mix. Okay, so let's put some more of this in. Back and forth. So you get a nice, smooth, creamy mixture. And this is going to give you your filling for the tiramisu. Okay, and for the lady fingers, it depends on how you find them packaged. Uh, sometimes you'll find them so that they come a dozen in a pack. That's usually just about right for a dish this size. You see these, the more authentic lady fingers are these nice 
dry cookies. Um, sometimes the ones that you see in the grocery stores will be more like the spongy. So you just fill your your dish, and again, it depends on um, the size of the package. You know, this one, they're just a little bit too long, so I'm going to break a little bit off, and I will turn that one and so it fits. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to soak these with the liquid, which in our case is the On The Go Metro. And you'll find different recipes tell you different things. Sometimes they'll say to soak them. They soak up the liquid so fast, I don't recommend doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our drizzle spoon and we're just going to drizzle a little bit on the cookies. And they'll soak it up. You know, even if you spill around them, they'll, they'll just drink it up. Okay, so you soak that first layer, then we come back with our cream cheese mixture. And you're going to use, because you're going to do two layers, so you're going to use half of your cream cheese mixture this time around, approximately. So you put about half of your cream cheese mixture in and you just kind of spread it around and it doesn't have to be real even but you just want to kind of cover everything. Okay. All right. Then we're going to come back, we're going to do our second layer of our lady fingers. And you're going to just do the same thing again, just lay those in on the cream cheese mixture. So then same thing again, we're going to drizzle these with a little bit of our on the go metro which I, I forgot to mention earlier, you want to brew it a little stronger than you would normally for the tea. Maybe make it even as much as double strength of the tea when you brew it so that it's a little bit stronger flavor to really soak up those into those lady fingers. Alright, so we got that and now we put another layer of our cream cheese on top. And then we're just going to finish it off with a little dusting of cocoa powder on the top. And then you just set it in the fridge and let it chill. And typically, um, overnight is really good for uh, chilling the tiramisu because you want to give it time so that those flavors can really mix together. So we're going to just sprinkle a little bit of cocoa powder on top, just a little dusting. And just kind of give it a little bit of an accent on the top. I'll put a little bit more over here in the corners. Okay. And and there you go.